Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is T from Rocket Crypto. As promised, this is the video that I'm going to show you step by step how SHIB is going to be a dollar and how SHIB is going to be the first decentralized cryptocurrency that other cryptocurrencies can be pegged on. Okay, I've been talking about this uh, in at least two videos. Go through my videos and you'll see you'll see that I've, I've been mentioning this. Okay. And all over YouTube, there are these YouTubers that claim it will hit one cent, it will hit 10 cents, it will hit a dollar, but they don't really explain to you how. Now, I'm taking my time right now and I'm walking you through, but I'm going to take my time and explain it to you, break it down for you, okay? Again, in this video, if you want to know how a SHIB token is going to hit one dollar, stay and watch the entire video, okay? All right, let's get started. We need to start by the vision, okay? In order to understand how to get to a dollar, we need to read the Wolf paper and understand Shiba Swap's vision or Shiba Inu's vision, okay? Okay, we are dedicated to build the best decentralized ecosystem on the planet, okay? They don't play around. They're here to be the best on the planet, okay? I like that attitude. Our three tokens were the seeds from which the Shiba Inu ecosystem sprouted and Shiba Swap is how they've dug in their roots, okay? The goal of Shiba Swap is to provide a safe place to trade your valuable crypto while remaining decentralized. Now that sounds a lot like Ethereum to me. We are loyal to our holders and that gives us the means to grow exponentially, okay? We will constantly scale the ecosystem. Hmm, that sounds like Polygon to me because Ethereum definitely cannot scale, okay? Again, we will constantly scale this ecosystem so it may bring even ever increasing interested parties to the ShibaSwap platform, okay? We've established that we want to be the best decentralized ecosystem on planet, okay? Now, to do that, you have to be the biggest, the largest, the baddest, okay? Okay, now that we have established this, let's go to Shiba, okay? That's on page 16. The next thing that we need to understand, okay, on the steps on how we are going to get into that $1 is the liquidity event. That is key. That's a very important event. To get Shiba Swap off on the right path, we are having a two-week liquidity event, okay? During these two weeks, you can bring your liquidity for selected pairs from Uniswap or SushiSwap to receive part of the bone returns. So I dedicated a video on this. So I'm not going to go on details. The points I want to make here are that if you have your SHIB token in either of these, Uniswap or SushiSwap, you can swap them over, plus you will get bones in return, okay? So that's the incentive. And in this week, the bones will be minted 10x, okay, more than usual. Another thing is, if you're not on Uniswap or SushiSwap, but you're on any other exchanges, you can still bring it a Shiba Swap for a thousand bones per block, okay? And after all the rewards allocated to the devs, developers, it will be 900, okay? During the liquidity event. Now, these are two things. Either if you have it in any of the swap exchanges, Uniswap or SushiSwap, bring it over. Or if you have it in any other exchanges, be it um, Binance, Crypto.com, wherever that these many exchanges that are have now listed Shiba, Inu, you can grab them from over there, okay, and bring them over. This is a key thing because now this means that there'll be so much inflow, the majority or a lot of SHIB tokens will be transferred from various exchanges over to Shiba Swap, okay? To seal the deal, let's go one step further. To seal the deal, Shiba Inu came up with this really ingenious idea, okay? Now, we believe being part of Sheep Army should come with benefits, okay? Benefits you receive. For this reason, we do not allow wallets from exchanges to receive any returns from Shiba Swap. This blacklist style future is exclusive to Shiba Swap because several of the top SHIB wallets are from exchange platforms. This blacklist future will ensure that holders on exchanges who want to access Shiba Swap returns won't have no worry that the exchange might try to stake with their tokens and then freeze withdrawals. We've already seen suspicious freezing taking place in centralized exchanges, so this secret future being coded into our swap weeks ago seemed to be a good idea. 
I want you to understand this because this is integral to the entire tokenomics on ShibaSwap. This code they're talking about is the code that makes them monopolize and huddle the entire supply of, of the SHIB token, okay? So basically, they're going to hold on to and have a monopoly on all the SHIB tokens and they'll push out any other external exchange away, okay? They won't have zero benefit. So if they want to have any benefits from the SHIB token, they can't use your the investor's tokens, okay? They have to have their own tokens. Also, they would have to go through the same process like we do. They would have to go to Shiba Swap, purchase Shiba tokens, and either stake them or farm them in order to get these benefits. Now, keep in mind, these exchanges used to make money trading SHIB tokens, but now they have a better incentive. They will make more money buying a boatload of SHIB tokens and staking them or farming them. So naturally, what, what will happen is the price will go through the roof, okay? Because scarcity equals higher price, okay? Basic economic principle. Less supply, high demand, price goes up, okay? That's how it works. Now, let's go to SHIB. Now, let me walk you through this. I've been waiting all day for an update, okay, for the Wolf paper, but unfortunately, it's still the old one from uh, April 29th. Anyway, it will still work, okay? So in case the new one comes out, I will have to make an updated video about it in case something changed. But anyway, now, all right, how does it work? Let me walk you through. Okay, now that the two-week event is over, okay, you got your you got your token, your Shiba token ready to go, okay? Now, I'm going to focus for the sake of the length of the video, I'm going to focus on staking. What you're going to do, the first thing you want to do, you want to grab some bone, okay? You want to get some bone because bone is a very special token, okay? So you stake it. What does that mean, staking? You lock it in, you give it, you basically lock it in and you leave it there. I don't know how long you will have to leave it there, but basically you park it somewhere and you forget about it. So as you're staking it, you gaining bone. Now you get that. I don't know how often it will be. I don't know if it will be a daily, weekly, monthly. It's very high. It's very likely that it's going to be weekly. Okay. So you'll be getting it on a weekly basis or even on a daily basis. Actually, I believe it's going to be on a daily basis or at the most on a weekly basis. You'll be earning your bones. Once you, that's layer one. Okay. Now you've staked your SHIB tokens. You've locked it away. Now you're getting bone token. And that bone token, you can also stake it again to get T-bone, all right? And now, once you have that T-bone, it gives, it qualifies you to, to be a part of a pool, okay? Now, I hope you're following along, okay? Now, 3% of all bone per block is distributed to the pool of X-SHIB, okay? Now, that X-SHIB is what you'll need to get into a pool also. And X-SHIB is the staked version of SHIB. So you're staking SHIB, you're getting X SHIB, and that X SHIB automatically qualifies you to be part of a pool. What's in that pool? In that pool is 3% of all block, uh, bone block, 3% of it. And also a pool of 0.3% of all Ethereum swap transactions. Now that's huge because there's so many app D apps and so many transactions going will be that will be going on so this is a major thing okay you'll be getting passive income just for staking your ship token you'll be getting passive income this is a money generating machine either on a daily basis or on a monthly basis but that's not all now let's go to let's go to bone because we need to know now we need to know okay i've staked my ship okay my ship token is gone okay now I'm getting passive income through the SHIB X, which get, get, gives, gets me into a pool, plus I'm having bone, okay? Bone is extra special, only available on Shiba Swap, okay? Bone has only 250 million token and is designed to fit perfectly between the previous two tokens in regards to circulation supply. This is key right here. Moreover, the token is a governance token, which will allow the SHIB army to vote on proposals for 2022 as well as which token pairs will be added on SHIBA swap. The more bone you hold, the more weight your vote carries in 
these future endeavors, okay? Let's look at the bone incentives. You placed your ship tokens, you staked them, okay? And then you get two things. With that X ship, open the gates for you, like right here. You got the bone, okay? Now you stake the bone. Bury is another word for staking. When you stake it, you get X bone. X bone qualifies you to be a part of a pool. What does that pool offer? That pool gives you 1% of every minted bone. You get 1% of every minted bone is being put in this pool, okay? And then 33% will be available and di be distributed and the remaining 66% will be locked away, okay? In a reserve. Now keep in mind, remember this, okay? They're going to lock this away. And the same thing they're going to do the same thing with SHIB, okay? This is what they're going to do with SHIB. This is very interesting. Once you bury your SHIB or you stake your SHIB, you're going to get X SHIB, okay? And this X SHIB is going to qualify you to be part of a pool that is paying you probably weekly or daily. I don't know the cycle. However, now you'll get 3% of the minted blocks, okay, bones, Plus, you will get 0.3% of all Ethereum transactions, same as with Bone. So you will get benefits with SHIB, you'll be in a pool, plus you will get Bones, plus you will get 3% of the minted Bone and 0.3% of Ethereum just for staking your SHIBA token. So, and then also you will get Bone, and with the Bone you can do exactly the same thing. You get X Bone when you stake your Bone, you get, you get to be part of the pool, you don't, and then you get 1% of the bones minted plus, and then the 33% are being distributed and the 66% are being locked away. Okay, so now that we've established that, let's go to the whole government behind it. All this is governed, okay? It's not just done, it's done with governing. We will spend the next few months adding new token pairs into Shiba Swap. It is our goal to onboard 500 plus pairs over the course of 2021 alone, paired with our Doggy DAO, which is Decentralized Autonomous Organization and Bone Governance Token, we will have created a true decentralized ecosystem. It is a goal to onboard 500 plus pairs over the course of 2021 alone. So this Doggy, doggy DAO is a government system, okay? You might ask yourself, hey, <laughs> What is that? Don't worry, I got you covered, okay? The nearest thing to it is this right here. This is it right here. Respectively, a decentralized organization and a software platform both based on Ethereum blockchain that allows users to issue and manage the DAI stablecoin. Now, let me read this now, but in terms of Shiba Swap and in terms of the Shiba tokenomics, okay? Now it would read something like this. The Doggy DAO is the governing system. That's the system. But Bone is the governance token, okay? We just read, we just read here, Bone is, is a governance token, okay? So this right here is Bones. So basically, Bones is the governance token of Shiba Swap, Shiba Inu, okay? This is how it's going to be. So basically, you will use Bone. Bone will be the governance token, and Doggy DAO will be the decentralized organization. Okay, and then Shib token will be the stable coin. I just use this for you to have an idea what's going on, so you're getting it. I'm just using this example for you to make so that it makes more sense, and I hope you're following. Again, the Bone token, which you have to stake your Shib tokens to get, that's the governance token. And then the doggy DAO is the decentralized organization. That's the governing body. And then SHIB token will be the stable coin. This is why I'm telling you, this is how SHIB token is going to get to a dollar. Okay, now let me make it even more clear. What makes, what makes Bone so unique, okay? Again, let's get a little background story, okay? DAI is one of the most popular stable coins. Cryptocurrencies whose prices are pegged to the US dollar or another traditional currency. It is the 25th largest cryptocurrency at over 800 million in market capitalization and it has more active addresses than USDT, the largest stable coin on the market, okay? Now I will show you the two different coins. One is fully pegged on the US dollar which is the USDT, one is soft peg, which is the DAI, and now the new one, SHIB token, will be fully fledged decentralized. So again, 
USDT is fully pegged on the US dollars and I'll walk you through it. I'll walk you through it. Let's go through them. Let's start with USDT right here. What is USDT? Stable value cryptocurrency that mirrors the price of the US dollar issued by a Hong Kong based company Tether. The token's peg to the US dollar is achieved via maintaining a sum of dollars in reserves that is equal to the number of USDT in circulation. Now this is the full-fledged centralized token pegged on the US dollar. Now the hybrid, there's a hybrid, okay? The hybrid is called DAI. Now what makes it a hybrid? The price of DAI is soft peg to the US dollar and is collateralized by a mix of other cryptocurrencies that are deposited into a smart contract vault every time new DAI is minted. And how is DAI minted? I'm making it an example. You see how you have to stake your SHIB token to mint BONE? So this is how it works. So I just wanted to show you the different one. There is USDT, which is fully collateralized by the US dollar, and this DAI, which is soft pegged by the US dollar, and other current cryptocurrencies are serving as collateral. All right, guys, now, Let's get all the way back to here. Now I hope you really understand the whole tokenomics, okay? You understand that SHIB is a token that you can stake, okay? Once you stake that token, these things will happen. You'll get X SHIB. With that X SHIB, you get, you get qualified to be in a pool. In that pool, you get 3% of all minted bones, okay? Plus 0.3% of all Ethereum transactions on Shiba Swap. That's huge. So on top of all this, you get bone. With the bone, you do the same thing. You can stake the bone and you get X bone. With that X bone, you qualify to be in a pool, which is you get T bone, okay? And then what do you get? You get 1% of the minted bones that you get while staking. While staking the bone, you get 1% of all the minted blocks, okay? What I'm trying to tell you here is that there are multiple layers. You, the catalyst is the SHIB token, and then you go through multiple layers, okay? Let me make these things even clearer now. Let's bring this thing home now. The issuance and the removal of Maker from the system is governed by a complex system of interdependent mechanisms designed to ensure that DAI is always fully collateralized by other cryptocurrency assets and its soft peg to the USD is maintained. There is no hard-coded limit on the total supply. DAI's value is secured by collateral. Other cryptocurrencies that are deposited by users when minting new DAI tokens and stored in such a so-called vault, okay, smart contracts on the Ethereum blockchain. During price downswings, the value of crypto stored in the vault might become insufficient to fully collateralize the corresponding amount of DAI. In this case, the Maker protocol automatically initiates the liquidation of the vault cons contents, the proceeds of which it uses to cover what vaults obligations. In the amount of DAI generated during the liquidation is not enough, the Maker protocol means new Maker tokens to sell and cover the remaining sum, thereby increasing the total supply. So in case you're wondering how this will work, it's a constant increasing and decreasing of the supply. Now, however, in some cases, the amount of DAI made from the auction exceeds the necessary limit to ensure full collateralization. Then it is used by Maker protocol to buy back and burn tokens, decreasing their total supply. All right, there you have it. In Shiba token terms, what will happen is it will skip because this is an issue. This is an obvious issue. It's a constant back and forth. You have to buy back and, 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 and burn or you have to liquidate and sell. Okay, that's so tedious. Since they have such a monopoly on Shiba Swap and everybody says, well, well, Steve, why are you claiming it's going to hit $1? It's such a large amount, but that's exactly the strength of it. They're going to use that large amount and store it in the vault, okay? And they'll leave it in the vault. So all they'll be doing is to decrease. They'll just be burning it because they saw such a large amount of it. I mean, they will have no reason to liquidate it because there's so much in supply. So all they'll focus on is on burning it. Each time they see that the supply is too high and then they'll start burning it, like it says it here. Thus, however, in case of amount made from 
auction exceeds the necessary limit and this it will it will exceed because the value will be higher and higher and higher okay and as the the value increases the reserve in the vault will also increase okay and so they will have to burn it the amount in the vault will always be larger than the amount circulating thus they'll be having to keep burning it and burning it and burning it to regulate the price and that's how we'll be losing millions and billions of tokens and at the same time the price will be increasing steadily and this will be the most stable stable coin and that process will continue until it hits a dollar and then it will be the stable coin that's in a nutshell what will happen that's how ship token will get to a dollar and will be the first stable coin that is fully decentralized different from USDT which is fully backed by US dollars in reserves or DAI which is a soft pegged by US dollar and backed by cryptocurrency SHIB token will be the first cryptocurrency fully decentralized full-fledged stablecoin and in a nutshell that's what it is okay that's how it will, it will become a dollar so there you have it that's all I have for you today thank you very much and uh, see you in the next video